Hello and welcome all. This video is all about painting this 2008 Honda Unicorn. For each and every paint job, there is a huge amount of work that we have to put in before painting. In fact, the preparation of the body is what matters for any paint job to stand out. Now that we are removing the stickers of this bike, actually we are using heat to remove the stickers without any gum residue sticking onto the body pieces. Now you could also use a heat dryer for the same purpose but too much of heat could also ruin your work. And after all that pulling we are going to wash this bike actually we have to apply some lot of diesel in order to loosen up all the dirt and grime which may have stuck onto the bike for years. Then it comes with the soap and water actually detergent and water to remove and wash out each and every speck from the bike. Only because the duration of the video about 10 minutes is not desirable on YouTube, I have to cut down the video under 10 minutes. So I have to skip some shots for that. But anyways, our next project is going to be something more exciting, which you could see that adventure. And now I have already painted the chases in PDU black and the gray portions that you are seeing is actually epoxy primer. Epoxy primer tend to have high sticking and durable properties, especially in areas where the temperature gets too hot. Now that I have removed the wheels, it gets a proper cleaning with sandpaper and then a proper wipe down with thinner. And after all that, we are mixing up the base paint for the engine uh, portions of this bike. Actually, we are gonna paint it grey and we are going to use an undercoating for this purpose when using an NC base coat with a silver mixed up in a proportion of 70 to 30 percent 70 percent black and 30 percent silver in order to bring that gray shade and i have already sprayed the gray over the engine parts and sprayed metallic base over that along with a matte clear this is how it looks after all those steps and after completing all those parts it is time for us to paint the body parts now that we are mixing the metallic base for our body parts but just before painting the metallic base we have to paint down the surfaces with a undercoat which is in nc black the white color that you are seeing is 2k primer applied over all the body parts 2k primers are highly durable and good in hiding scratches and gashes which our body pieces tend to have after painting and letting it dry for one to two days we are sanding it down with 1000 grit sandpaper in order to bring the surface to a greater finish overall for any metallic shades it is highly important for us to mix up with the proper thinner in the proper ratio in order to have the desired output Actually, we are using PU thinner on the ratio 60 is to 40 on this particular day. It may change up to 70 to 30 or even 50 50 on colder or hotter days. That's totally subjective to our own logic. When applying 2K metallics, it is highly important to spray the metallics over light coat one over the other. That too within a 5 to 10 minutes interval. There is a tendency for 2K metallics to change its shade when applied wet coat over the wet coat. Just because the pearls that are on the metallics tend to lay down upside down causing a different shade onto the finished pieces. And with a proper wipe down with a tag rag we are applying very fine coats of metallics over our body pieces. As that you are seeing now I am applying a very fine coat. Since the 2K metallics are much more expensive than any other type of paint, feel free to sand down any undulations or imperfect. After applying two fine coats of metallic over all these pieces, it is time for us to smash on some clear over the body parts. For any particular paint job, the final clear would definitely contribute to your finish, durability and shine of your vehicle. If you are spraying a matte clear over this particular piece, you could get a matte finish and if instead you are using a glossy clear, this is how it looks. But quite unfortunately, this is what happened during the clearing process. Only after smashing on all that clear to all these parts, 
ഐ റിയലൈസ് ദാറ്റ് ദ ക്ലിയർ ദാറ്റ് ദ സപ്ലയർ ഗേവ് മീ വാസ് ഓഫ് എ ലോവർ ക്വാളിറ്റി വിച്ച് വാസ് നോട്ട് സാറ്റിസ്ഫാക്ടറി സോ ഇൻസ്റ്റെഡ് ഓഫ് കംപ്ലൈനിങ് അബൌട്ട് ദ റിസൾട്ട് ഐ തോട്ട് ഐ വുഡ് ഗീവ് ഇറ്റ് എ ബെറ്റർ ഫിനിഷ് ബൈ യൂസിങ് എ ടെക്നീക് കോൾഡ് ഫ്ലോ കോട്ടിംഗ് ഫ്ലോ കോട്ടിംഗ് മീൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ആഫ്റ്റർ അപ്ലൈങ് വൺ സെക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ക്ലിയർ ദ പീസസ് ആർ കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി ക്യൂർഡ് and sanded down with a 1000 grit or a 1500 grit and then the clear of higher quality is reapplied over those pieces and with higher quality i mean hs clear for this particular paint job hs stands for high solids which means the clear that we would use comprises of more solid particles than other variants which is having a higher voc content and obviously with hs clear you would definitely get the best results in the best budget that is possible and of course if your pocket is big enough you could definitely opt for higher and much durable types of clear which is already available in our market now that we are using capsis hs clear coats along with capsis pu thinner for the purpose as you may be wondering what am i doing with my bare hands over those pieces but actually what i was doing was checking for any undulations or sand piling which occurs in high temperature situations actually when we paint metallic paints the pearls tend to stick upwards causing a sandpaper like texture in certain conditions that's what i was checking for with my hand or in that particular situation we could definitely use a 2000 grit sandpaper to gently wipe down the rough particles or else the finish would be definitely ruined and quite obviously that process is not always applicable for every type of color it could vary from one color to another if you are using a light color or something related to a gray shade or a silver shade sanding it down with a 2000 grit sandpaper at this particular point of time would definitely bring some fine scratches under your clear coat anyways these are just the basic ideas of getting your bike or car painted in metallics i would definitely explain much more deeper in our next videos which is going to be more exciting than this particular one the avenger that i mentioned earlier is going to be painted in candy paint which comes with a two layer color shade along with a third layer coat of clear we would be discussing more about candy paints on that particular video anyways these were the just basic ideas of painting your bike or car in metallic shade and definitely there is more than one way to get your car or bike painted each and every person each and every individual may use a different technique but all that matters is we get a very good finish overall and a very durable uh, product in the end that is what always matter and this is how it looks after the first clear coat was done this is just after the first clear coat which was not satisfactory for our standards so i thought i would cut it down with a 1500 sand paper and as mentioned we would go for flow coating and that too in hs clear this is the final result after hs clear and you can see the pearls shining so brightly and clearly and this is me now fixing back all the wheels and other parts of the bike and you are just about to witness the final product within a few moments and actually your support your share and a subscription to the channel would be so helpful and motivating for me to continue these type of videos and work these are the final results and i will be posting a full length video on the totally restored repainted honda unicorn 2008 thank you for watching thank you everyone